Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. The Kingdom of Bahrain's Hajj mission was awarded the best office of Hajj affairs for this year's Hajj season. On this occasion, the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment, Chairman of the Supreme Committee for Hajj and Umrah Affairs, Nawaf bin Muhammad Al Ma'auda, stated that this coronation comes to embody the extent to which the Kingdom, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, this was awarded within the Labaytum Award organized by Saudi's Ministry of Hajj and Umrah, which aims at highlighting the efforts and services provided by Hajj Affairs offices to serve the pilgrims, as well as encouraging efforts to facilitate the pilgrims' performance of the Hajj rituals and enrich their experience. The Minister of Hajj and Umrah, Dr. Tawfiq Rabi'a, honored during the Ceremony of Creativity and Excellence in the work of Hajj and Umrah, which was organized by the ministry under the slogan Mubdi'oon, the service providers from the government and private agencies for their excellence in providing services to the pilgrims. The step comes within the framework of the ministry's efforts to raise the quality of services provided to the pilgrims and to achieve the objectives of the programs of the Kingdom's Vision 2030. The General Presidency of the Grand Mosque and the Prophet's Mosque, Sheikh Dr. Abdurrahman bin Abdul Aziz al Sudais, announced the success of the plan to receive pilgrims who flock to the Holy Kaaba to perform the farewell circumambulation, Tawaf al Wada, on the 12th of Dhul Hijjah. As Sudais said, that the success of this year's Hajj season reflects the integrated services delivered by Saudi authorities to pilgrims to enable them to perform Hajj rituals. As Sudais said, that pilgrims have enjoyed high quality organizational and supervisory services while performing their farewell tawaf provided by qualified employees and well-equipped vehicles. For their part, pilgrims departing from Mecca al-Mukarrama after performing the farewell circumambulation tawaf al-wada reaffirmed the ease in performing the rituals easily and comfortably within a secure spiritual atmosphere. The Saudi Minister of Health, Fahad al-Jalajal, announced the success of the health plans for this year's Hajj season and the absence of any outbreaks or threats to public health, witnessing the return of this year's season's pilgrim numbers to what they were before the pandemic. The minister confirmed that based on the keenness of the custodian of the two holy mosques to put human health first, more than 354 health facilities across all health sectors were made available to serve the pilgrims. The Minister of Health praised the role played by the Supreme Hajj Committee in overcoming all health challenges, extending his thanks to the Minister of Interior for their effective contribution to the implementation of health plans. The Minister attributed the success of the plans to the integration among all government agencies and early preparedness for the Hajj season. Al Jalajal explained that the number of pilgrims receiving health care services exceeded 400,000, of which 50 underwent open heart surgery, 800 received cardiac catheters and more than 1,600 had dialysis sessions. After completing their Hajj rituals, pilgrims started this evening their departure from Mecca al-Mukarramah to al-Madinah al-Munawwara via the two holy mosques train or the immigration highway. The relevant authorities and organizations raised their preparedness to receive the pilgrims and offer facilities to ensure their arrival with ease. According to the Saudi press agency, over 70,000 pilgrims are expected to arrive to Al-Madinah Al-Munawwara in the next two days. The Jamarat Bridge Project is a massive structure built to save pilgrims' lives and facilitate a crucial Hajj ritual. The Jamarat Bridge enables pilgrims to perform the ritual of stoning at three Jamarat pillars in a smooth and hassle-free manner. Stoning pebbles at the Jamarat is the most repeated ritual of Hajj. The Jamarat Bridge is considered one of the major projects implemented by the Saudi government to ensure the security and comfort of the pilgrims during the stoning ritual. The high-tech Jamarat Bridge was built at a cost of more than 4.2 billion Saudi rials, and it consists of five floors with a height of 13 meters for each floor. The Jamarat Bridge is 950 meters long with a capacity to accommodate 120,000 pilgrims per hour on each floor. There are about 226 environmentally friendly electric vehicles on the Jamarat Bridge to transport and serve pilgrims, as these will be available inside the bridge building and the areas connected to it. The technical, engineering and professional facilities that are being made available during the Hajj contribute to the pilgrims receiving 
the finest services and reflect the excellence and uniqueness of Saudi Arabia's reception of the guests of God. Pakistani Osman Arshad, who traveled 5,400 kilometers from Okara in Pakistan to Saudi Arabia, achieved the blessing of Hajj. Arshad said that the biggest duty of life has been fulfilled by performing Hajj. He went on a journey crossing the borders of three countries and walking 5,400 kilometers in six months and 13 days. During this time, Osman continued to make videos of his journey with the help of mobile phone and told about the difficulties encountered during the journey. He said that overall the journey was fine, but due to the sometimes hot and sometimes cold weather, there were definitely difficulties. During the trip, the flags of Pakistan and Saudi Arabia were prominent, which he kept in a bag tied on his back. Bahrain's two-month ban on outdoor work during the afternoon began today. The ban on work under direct sunlight and in open places will run from midday until 4 p.m. in compliance with the provisions of Edict 3 of 2013 on banning work in open area in July and August. The aim is to protect workers and ensure their safety from heat stress, sunstroke and various summer diseases and to reduce occupational accidents during the hottest months of the year. The Ministry of Labor announced that all the preparations have been completed to carry out field visits and inspection campaigns to ensure full compliance with the provisions of the edict, adding that violators will be penalized according to Article 192 of the labor law in the private sector. The President of the Republic of Palau, Surangil Whips Jr., received the credentials of the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Republic of Palau, Ahmed Abdullah Al Hajri, residing in Jakarta. Ambassador Al Hajri conveyed greetings from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. For his part, President Suranjil Whips Jr. also extended his greetings to His Majesty the King and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The slaughterhouses of the Kingdom of Bahrain, accredited by the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, witnessed a wide turnout during the Blessed Days of Eid al-Adha in order to perform the sacrifice ritual. The slaughterhouses were keen to provide high-quality services in a timely manner to reduce waiting time. The Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, represented by the Agency for Animal Wealth, took the necessary steps to ensure the availability of meat as it announced in advance the import of about 50,000 heads of sheep in addition to 300 heads of cows in order to meet the increasing demands of sacrifices during the days of Tashriq of Dhul Hijjah. The joyous occasion of Eid al-Adha sparked a surge in plays and concerts that kept locals and tourists well entertained. Theatres in Bahrain attracted local and Gulf audiences during Eid al-Adha holiday, who flocked to enjoy a diverse set of live performances. A number of purposeful social and comedy plays were hosted by the theatres, which received applause from the audience, who voiced their contentment with the content and calibre of the performances. Theatres in Bahrain also hosted musical concerts, where renowned Bahraini and Gulf artists serenaded crowds with unforgettable live performances by singing famous old and new songs. Eid theatres never lost their appeal, as they continue to dazzle crowds with plays and performances that embody the artistic and cultural dynamism of Bahrain.